Father, we give you praise. There is no one like unto you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I said in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. Every burden upon your shoulder is going away today. Amen. Every load you are carrying that is not from God is dropping off you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Financial bodies, physical bodies, marital bodies, career bodies, academic bodies, business bodies. Contract bodies, every body that you are carrying that is making life bitter for you is dropping off you today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It shall come to pass in that day that his body, the body the devil gave to you, shall be taken away from you. He said the burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder. Some people have a hunchback, financial hunchback, marital hunchback, career hunchback, business hunchback. Some people are carrying heavy loads, burdens that God never gave them. I don't care the kind of body you are carrying, if it is not from God, today is the last day that body shall ever be on you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The body the devil gave you shall be taken away from you. That body is going back to the sender. Amen. Every body sent to you is returning back to the sender. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. every body sent to you by the devil and his demons, such evil bodies are going back to them today. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. he says his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke shall be taken away from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. There's a body lifting yoke, destroying anointing in this service today. I don't care how long you have been under that body and yoke. Today is your day of freedom. Amen. Today is your day of liberty. Amen. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command every body on you lifted now. Amen. Every body on your shoulder is lifted now. Amen. Every yoke on your neck is lifted now. Amen. That which is making life a drudgery for you. You can move fast. You can walk fast. You can rise up. You can fly. You want to run, you cannot run. Everything hindering your speed in this life, they are removed right now. Amen. Whatever is hindering your speed is destroyed right now. Amen. Whatever is limiting your progress is removed right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He who has anointed us and established us is God. Until you are anointed, you cannot be established. I decree today, whatever is hindering your establishment in health, in wealth, in riches, in progress, in advancement, Whatever is limiting your life in any form or manner, they are ended today. Amen. I say they are ended today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He has anointed me as the same. He went about doing good healing over the oppressor of the devil. 
Every work of the devil in your life is ended today. Amen. He gave me power. He anointed me. He said, destroy serpents and scorpions. Every serpent, every scorpion working against your life is hereby declared destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every evil worker imposing bodies on you, causing you to carry yokes not from God. Today I command that they be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those serpents are crushed today. Amen. Those scorpions are destroyed today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Therefore, what he did before is in today. Therefore, today is your day of freedom. I proclaim your freedom now. Amen. I proclaim your liberty now. Amen. I proclaim your release 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 now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I proclaim your restoration today. Amen. Be restored right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be restored mentally. Amen. Be restored spiritually. Amen. Be restored physically. Amen. Be restored financially. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your losses are over. Amen. Restorations are speaking today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We serve the God of restoration. By his power, today is your day of restoration. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Acts 16, 25, 26. Acts 16, 25, 26. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. And after praying, they sang praises unto God. And the prisoner said them, Today you must be loud. Acts 16, 25 and 26. They prayed and they sang. And the prisoners heard them. The prisoners did not join in praises. The prisoners did not join in singing. But suddenly there was an earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison we are shaking, and immediately all the doors, how many of the doors? All. all the doors, all the doors that kept the prisoners in prison, all the doors, all of them we are opened, and everyone's chains or bands we are loosed. Everyone's chain. Everyone's bands were loosed. They sang praises. Only to sang all oh, saw the effect. Every member of your family will see the effect of the service in your life. Amen. They will enjoy the results of your business service today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When God took his spirit in Moses, and put the 72 we are in their houses not present yet they encounter the same people that are related to you will encounter the results of today's service Amen. everybody in your family will be destroyed today Amen. every yoke upon any member of your family shall be destroyed today Amen. every band every chain around your life around the lives of your siblings or members of your family shall be destroyed today Amen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What happened in that encounter? God, even the prison word is saved. What God will do in your life will force unbelievers to believe in Christ. Amen. They shall be saved also. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every door, Lord, before you, they are busted open today. Amen. Every door keeping you under lock and key, they are removed today. Amen. Every chain keeping you stagnated, they are destroyed today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You may please have your seats. God bless you. Amen. This service is called Heavenly Miracle Service. 
the heavens rule the earth. Heavens rule because by the powers available in heaven, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. By the powers of heaven, all things are possible. Before Mary conceived, the angel said to her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. And by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, she was to conceive. What never happened was going to happen by the power from on high. The powers of heaven can do anything. God's power available in heaven can accomplish anything. God spoke and by the word of his power, heaven was created. The earth was created. God spoke and see creatures were created. The hippopotamus, the whales, the sharks, every kind of catfish and tilapia, myriads of sea creatures. We are created because God spoke the word of His power. The powers of heaven can do anything. That power will set to your life today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus said, all power in heaven and earth is given to me. You will experience the power of Christ today. Amen. In this service. Amen. Any kind of miracle, thinkable and unimaginable, <laughs> understandable, you can understand a miracle. Every kind of miracle that you can't even understand, that you will believe God for, shall be done for you today. Amen. So all you need is faith. In this heavenly miracle service, all things are possible. Amen. So get set to see all possibilities in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As a reminder, be reminded that this year is our year of heavenly restoration. And God has vowed to restore all things to us. It will be so for you. Amen. Jesus Christ came and died for one purpose, to restore all things to us. All. Whatever Christ died to restore to us, that you still lack before this year is over, God shall restore that to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whether it is health or wealth or peace or progress or wisdom, whatever you need, that Christ has died to settle in your life to bring back to you, all shall return to you again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible, this Bible, is the book of restoration. The earth was destroyed, God restored the earth. Amen. Amen. Adam lost out, God restored man by bringing Christ. If you read through the Bible, you see the Bible is a book of restoration. Israel went to Egypt for 30 years, they stayed there. The Lord sent Moses, Moses came and restored them to the promised land. Amen. Amen. Everything you lost, God shall restore to us this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He restores our soul, your soul shall be restored. Amen. He restored the spirits. He shall restore your own spirit today. Amen. He restores the health. Your health shall be restored. Amen. He restores wealth and fortunes. Your wealth shall be restored. Amen. He will restore you to the kingdom of God again. Amen. God will restore comforts to you. Comforts. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every package of the redeemed that Christ has prayed for shall be restored to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You shall be restored to God's image and likeness. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You shall be restored to life in the kingdom of heaven and earth. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Get ready for the most uncommon restorations this year. Amen. 
Amen. He shall speak in your lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now the month of October is a month of heavenly restoration by God's law. Month of heavenly restoration by God's law. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God gave his son to restore mankind to God's image and likeness. When? While we were yet sinners, Romans 5, 7 and 8. While we were yet sinners, God demonstrated his love towards us. Why we were yet sinners, he that knew no sin was made to be sin for us. Why? So that you and I can be restored to God's righteousness. God wants to live free from sin, and I decree every hold of sin over your life is broken today. Amen. Every burden of sin you are carrying is removed and destroyed today. Amen. Every guilt of sin upon your life is removed and destroyed today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Christ came to restore us. The expression of God's love is in your restoration. Romans 8, 32. If God loved us and has given us his son, how then shall he not also freely give us all things? He that spared not his son, if God did not withhold his son, if God did not spare his son, he won't spare anybody to bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If God did not spare his son to restore life to you, God will not spare anybody to restore words to you. Amen. So everybody who is working to make sure you are poor, they will die for your sake. Amen. And you are going to take back their own riches and wealth. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God says that the wealth of the sinner is kept to suffer the righteous. Jesus died for you to be restored in every area of life. And I'm telling you today, by the authority of scriptures, you will be restored and everything Christ has died for to make yours, you are going to have them back. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In this special heavenly miracle service, I'll be speaking to us very briefly on soaring, soaring in the miraculous on the wings of God's law. To soar, to fly above all else. Sweatless soaring. Effortless soaring. Gliding on the wings of God's law. Soaring in the miraculous on the wings of God's law. That's the topic I'm here to share with us very briefly. The will of God is not for you to crawl. Amen. Amen. And nothing terminates crawling like God's law. Nothing terminates crawling like God's miracles. A man was born as a cripple. He was a cripple for 40 years. Acts chapter 3. From verse 1 to verse 9. One day, by the manifestation of God's law, and through the miraculous, that man who had sat as a beggar for 40 years was healed. And he began to leap, to leap up and leaped, singing and praising God and dancing into the temple. In one day, before you walk as a child, you learn to sit down first. Then you learn to crawl. Then you struggle to stand. Then you learn to walk. All those protocols were cut short. In one day, the man leaped. God is going to break protocols to move you forward in life. Every process shall be set aside for God to exalt you. Amen. <laughs> you see, some people went to the moon. It took them only 11 minutes to go and come back to the moon. 11 minutes. They entered a spaceship, viewed 
Six minutes to go, four minutes to come back. One minute break. They return. For you to rise with an aeroplane and move from here to Lagos takes you about 55 minutes. But they went to the moon and came back in 11 minutes. God is giving you speed. Amen. Every process and protocol shall be set aside. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus flew to heaven and came back from heaven in one day. In one day. Without an airplane, he went to heaven and returned from heaven in one day. God is breaking processes and the protocols to restore you. Amen. Oh, the Lord made it better for you. Amen. I say God is setting aside processes and protocols to restore you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Some of us here, you don't have 10 dollars in your account, but overnight, millions will flow in. Amen. I am a copay dollar, Overnight, millions will flow in. Amen. Overnight, millions will flow in. Amen. Overnight, millions will flow in. Amen. What others have labored for, for 30, 40, 50 years, and they cannot access or have, overnight, God is putting that into your account. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A 40 year old man didn't learn how to sit down, how to crawl, how to stand. He began to leap, run, walk. God is breaking protocols and the process is to, to restore you. Amen. Say, I believe it. I believe it. I receive it. I receive it. It shall be unto me. It shall be unto according me. According to your word. According to your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mary gave birth to a man child without any man by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hear me, God is breaking protocols and setting aside processes to restore you. Amen. On the wings of God's love, what efforts and labor can never give to a man, God is giving to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's important. For me to remind you that the God we serve, our Father, is a miracle worker. Mm. Amen. Amen. He's what? A miracle, a miracle worker. Miracle worker. Now say it's me. Say he is the miracle worker. He is the miracle worker. He is the miracle manufacturer. He is the miracle manufacturer. He is the miracle producer. He is the miracle producer. He will amaze you. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. So shall it be for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Exodus 15, verse 11. They sang and said, Who is like unto you? O Lord, who is like unto you? Among the gods who can be compared with you, you are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, always doing wonders, always performing miracles, always. If he does it always, from today, you will see miracles always. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Always we wonders. In Acts 2.22, Jesus of Nazareth was approved to be a son of God by the miracles and wonders and the signs which God did by him. God will do miracles and will shut them out of your mockers. Amen. Oh, let, the, let your mission you believe it. Amen. Let your amen show you believe that word. Amen. God will perform miracles for you that will show the mouth of your mockers. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said the God who is your father will do miracles for you that will show the mouth of your mockers. Amen. He will perform miracles for you that will silence all of your haters. Amen. Those who are speaking blasphemous words against your life, my God, your God, our Father, we do miracles in your life that we silence all of them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All you 
me to do is to learn to trust him and to commit your cause to him. In Job chapter 5, Job chapter 5, and verse 8 and 9, I will seek unto God. Who will you seek unto? God. I will seek unto God and unto God would I commit my cause. Why? Because this God doeth great things and unsearchable. Marvelous things without number. I will seek unto God and unto him I will commit my cause. Why? Because this God doeth great miracles, great wonders, great signs. He doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. In chapter 9 of Job and verse 10, the Bible says he doeth great things past finding out. He performs wonders without number. Miracles that cannot be numbered. This is what you shall be experiencing from this day forward. Amen. Marvelous wonders. Amen. Great miracles. Amen. Unsearchable miracles. Amen. Miracles past finding out. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That shall be your story from today. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, watch it. The Bible says, those that wait upon the Lord to act, they shall mount up. They shall... Do you have any wing? Do you have wings? But by God's power, you are going to mount up. Amen. Jesus came out of the grave. Did Christ have wings? Huh? No, sir. He had hands. Yet he flew to heaven. The same God who made Christ to fly to heaven will make you so from now. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you don't believe that. Amen. I, I'm sure you've not heard me. Jesus came out of the grave. Acts chapter 1. I think I'm joking here. Open your Bibles. Verses 9 and 10. And when he has spoken these things, why they beheld, he was taken up. He was, the Bible says he was taken. He was taken up. Are you, have you seen your Bible? Yes, sir. And a cloud received him out of their sight. Why they looked steadfastly toward heaven. As he went up, he was taken and he went up. While they were looking, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee. Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, this same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in the like manner as you have seen him go to heaven. The same way Jesus was taken up by the power of God shall be taken up. Amen. I said by the same power that took Jesus up into heaven, you shall go up in life. Amen. The same God of miracles who took Jesus by his spirit into heaven will lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whether academically, in your job or career, whether in your business or in finances or spiritual in any area that you want to see God work miracles for you, He will take you up. Amen. He will take you up. Amen. They say, well, you remember when some people know you believe God. Amen. You see, you see, please hear me first. When you catch a revelation, your instantaneous response will show you have seen something. Some people don't see anything. Or did they shout and say, Amen? No. I said the same power that took Christ up to heaven without any human aid, without wings, without wings, without wings, yes, he will cause you to fly. Amen. You may not have any job to get money, but hear me, this, this year, you are going to be a millionaire. Amen. Just don't believe that. Jesus had no wings to fly, yet he was made to fly. You have no job to get money, yet you're gonna have money. Amen. You have no job to get money, yet you're gonna get money this year. Amen. You have nothing to give you money, 
Mary had no man to donate a seed, yet she gave, she gave birth. No matter what is happening, hear me, this year, by the divine hand of God, you are going up in life. Amen. You are going up in life. Amen. You are going up in life. Amen. In every area you desire it, you are going up in life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. What does it mean to sow? What does it mean to sow? It means to increase rapidly in number. To sow means to increase rapidly in number, in volume, in size, and in amount. We talk about swearing prices, swearing goods, swearing cost of living. To sow means to increase rapidly in number, in volume, in size, and amount. Number two, to sow means to fly or rise high in the air. It means to fly or to rise high in the air. What does it mean to sow? Number three, it means to glide high on rising air current. You don't struggle, you just follow the air current like the eagle. You glide high, high on rising air currents. The air current rises and you just rise and glide with that air current, like the eagle. The eagle does not struggle to go up, he just waits for the wind. As the wind comes, boom, he jumps into the wind. And then by the wind, the eagle rises high. So when you glide high on rising air currents, you are soaring. Number four, to swim means to become more intense. To become more intense. To rise to a higher, more intense or exalted level. To become more intense, you rise higher. More intense to an exalted higher level. This week, God will move you higher in life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To sow family means the act of sowing. The act, the very act of sowing. Effortless occupation of heights that your strength or energy can never take you to. Effortless. The current of heaven lifting you high up to realms and highs that others can never attain. You soar above all. This shall be your testimony this week. Amen. God is lifting you. Amen. And you shall remain above all. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What is the miraculous? What is the miraculous? Number one, it means mind blowing wonders and signs. Mind blowing signs and wonders. Mind blowing signs and wonders. Incomprehensible, indescribable signs and wonders. What is the miraculous? Number two, an act. Caused by supernatural intervention and power. An act, act of God, caused by supernatural intervention and power. That's the miraculous. An act of God that's initiated and caused by God's supernatural power and intervention. Number three, what's the miracle? An extraordinary, unexpected, and marvelous act. An extraordinary, unexpected, marvelous act of God. That's a miracle. It's extraordinary. It's unexpected. It's a marvelous act of God. 
you will experience this soul. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What is the miracle? Number four, finally. Number four. Being enabled and made able to perform miracles. You being enabled and being made able to act or to perform miracles. You being given power to perform miracles. Jesus gave them power and authority and sent them to preach and to heal. And they went and preached and healed everywhere. He called his own to give them power and authority over all devils to crush serpents and scorpions and to heal. And they went and did everything. When God gives you the ability and the power to act, to perform miracles, when you have been given power to perform miracles, you are working the miraculous. Question. How do I connect to the miraculous through God's love? How do I connect to the miraculous by God's love? Number one, be born of God. Be born of God. 1 John 5, verse 1. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ, is born of God. And you know God is love. 1 John 4, 7 and 8, God is love. So when you are born of God, you are born of love. And God, the miracle worker, God, the miracle producer, works miracles on the platform of love. God loves, he saves. God loves, he heals. God loves, he gives. Every act of God is a miracle because God is a spirit. Amen. Amen. God is a spirit and all of his operations are miracles. When you are born of God, you are like the wind. You can blow away to where you like and do anything you want to do and nobody can stop you. God is a spirit. Every of his act is a supernatural act. That's why Jesus manufactured miracles because God walked in and through him. I see you manifesting the miracles from now. Amen. You must be born of God if this must be a reality in your life. Be born of God. Be born of God's love. You see, when you are love-driven, you do what is not ordinary. When you are love-driven, you do extraordinary things. It takes love to be a giver. It takes love to sacrifice all you have for others to live. Some people cannot give God their first fruit because they don't know love. Some cannot pay tithe because they don't know love. Some cannot give a sacrifice to bless a person because they don't know love. But when you are love driven, you do things that are extraordinary. My prayer is that you will be born of God and know His love from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. How to connect with the miracles of love. Number two, be like God. 1 John 4, 9 to 12. Be like God. 1 John chapter 4, 9 to 12 and verse 16. Verse 9 says, In this was manifested the love of God toward us because God sent his son. This is how we know God's love. God sent his son into the world that we might live through him. We should have died, but God sent his son that we might live through him. Here in his love, verse 10, not that we love God, no, we didn't love him. So don't wait for people to love you. We didn't love God, but that God loved us and sent his son to be the sin offering for our sins. We have done wrong, we should die. But God sent his son as the propitiation for our sins. And Christ came and died for us. Beloved, verse 11. If God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Be like God. We ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us. And his love is perfected in us. Verse 16. 
and we have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love. And he that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. You can be like God. You can be like God by loving people like God. We didn't love God, yet God loved us. So don't wait for people to love before you love them. Amen? Amen. And you see, when you love, you give. The proof of love is in giving. Giving your all, your best. You can be a student. People are, people are hungry. You can feed them. You can buy them food. Not say this is my money. Keep it behind your, behind your purse or your, your wallet. You say, I don't have money. You can love and give people water. Oh, yeah, I need water. I, okay, take. A little boy gave Jesus his five loaves of bread and two fishes. A little boy. And Christ fed men and women with the boy inclusive. Five loaves of bread and two small fishes. He gave it to Christ. That is love. That was all the boy had. He gave all. And Christ gave him back 12 baskets full. 12 big baskets full. When you love, you give. You may be the smallest. I was in a meeting some time ago. And we're looking for money to pay for to pay for rent of a man of God. And everybody said we should go and beg money. I said no. I said no. I said, look at the Bible, John chapter 6. They wanted to feed 5,000 men. Jesus did he say, Let's go and beg people. He said, What do you have? We're looking for 70,000 naira then. I said, Me, I'm giving 10,000 naira. Then Big, big man. Somebody who was the accountant general of a state in this nation was in that meeting. The accountant general of a state in Nigeria was in that meeting. You know what? He gave 10,000 also. That man was a multi-millionaire. Me, I said, for us to raise 70,000, I, I first gave 10,000 naira. What do you give? He gave 10,000. A professor, who, who is a professor till today, he has served as the chief of staff of a state in this nation. Was in that meeting, he gave 10,000 also. In that meeting, we raised the whole money. And I was the first to redeem my own. That's what I paid. They, they paid later, some of them. Some, some didn't pay till I left that place. True life story. Accountant general of a, of a state, somebody who served as chief of staff of a state in this nation was they only gave ten thousand also. They had money. One of them can, could have written off that 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 deficit. One, but they don't have the heart to give. Me, I was eight years that time. I was a nine first years that time. I put ten thousand down before all of them. For a staff, for a, for a staff residence that 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 was becoming a problem. Let's write, let us let's send people to give us money. I said, if you have money, they have us of their own. No? Yes, you can you can write off seventy k deficit and glorify God. I started it. They were ashamed. They had to give by force. I paid my first. What did they pay for? I left there. You see, when you love, you can give up what you have. The little boy gave his all to Jesus. As a little, can you give your all to Christ? As a little woman, as a little man, can you give your all? We have problems there because we are not eager to give. That's the problem. When you love like God, you are going to give all like God for others to be blessed. Receive that grace today. Amen. To give like God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So be born of God. To be like God. Number three, imitate God. Imitate God means act like God. Ephesians 5, verse 1. Be ye imitators of God as his dear children. Every child imitates the father, copies the father. Imitate God, our father. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. Imitate God, John 3, 16. 1 John 3, 16 to 18. Imitate God. God loves and gave all. Christ loved us and gave all. So we should love and give all. Imitate God. Act like him. Number four. Love everyone. Don't 
be selective. Some cannot love others who are not from their state. Some cannot love others who are not from their church. Are you hearing me now? Yes. Some cannot love others who are not from their family. They can't love. Many are race confined in loving. Where are you from? You say I'm a black man from Nigeria. Okay, I am an I am a Spanish girl. We don't love people like you. Get out. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Ghana. Well, me, I'm from Australia. You know, Ghana and Australia would have everything. Come on, so bye-bye. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Egypt. Ah. Uh, you be Arab? Ah. Uh, no, we don't love Arab. That's a problem we have. God loves everyone. Say with me, God loves everyone. God loves everyone. That's all. The black, the short, the tall, the dark. The yellow, the red, the green, the blue. God loves everyone. That's why he can bless anyone. You can never experience the miraculous until you break the bond of love. You must break it. Hatred must be destroyed. In Nigeria, Igbos are suffering because the outsiders and the Europeans, they hate Igbo people. For what reason? Nothing. Even man cannot govern Nigeria, cannot go. what, what is the problem? They will change the Nigeria, they will make Nigeria better. But yet, you say they cannot rule. Today in America, they are forcing three year old boys to become girls. And if the father talks, they will arrest the father. Yet, they want to rule them. Are you, are you not seeing it, folks? That's wickedness. Wickedness. Please say with me, I refuse. To hate. I refuse to hate. I choose to love like God. I choose to love like God. I will love everyone everywhere. I will love everyone everywhere. So help me God. So help me God. So love everyone. God so love he gave. Love and give. Love everyone. Number five. Give to meet the need of everyone. If you want to Connect with the miraculous through God's love. Give to meet the need of everyone. Love everyone and prove it by giving to meet their needs. Are you hearing me now? Yes. This is what is hard for people. People are fighting and going about fighting. Elon Musk has invested over $200 billion to take people to mass, not to heaven. How many Christians have invested 30 billion to take you to heaven? I don't know. That's a problem. Elon Musk may not take one million people to mass. No. But so far, he has put in over 200 billion dollars to take people to mass. Not to heaven. I wish I can see a Christian who can say I have put in 200 billion to save souls and make sure they live in heaven, they go to heaven. Say with me, I'll break that record. I'll break that record. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am going to invest all to take people to heaven. I'm going to invest all to take people to heaven. I am going to invest all to create heaven on earth for people. I am going to invest all to create heaven on earth for people. Just imagine if Elon Musk puts 200 billion to build a place where people can live and not pay any school fees, not pay house rent, not pay for food, not pay for light, not pay for water, not pay for gas. That's the knowledge you are creating for them. And you, you build a church where they can worship God and not live in sin. You are creating heaven on earth. Heaven is a home of freedom. Are you getting me now? Yes. People who live heaven free, you, live, you enjoy freedom. Free, you are free from sin. You are free from lack. You are free from sickness. You are free from disease. You are free from poverty. You are free from darkness. You are free from evil. You are free from torture or oppression. That's heaven on earth. I wish he can invest 200 billion and say, let's create heaven on earth for people. Let's bring people into houses they wouldn't pay anything. They won't pay anything to train their children in school. They won't, they won't, they won't just struggle. And they will live and serve and their needs are met every day. That's heaven on earth. I wish Christians can create. That's what I'm here to create. And I'm, I'm going to create it. 
I said I'm going to create it. Yes, I pray God will use us to create such things. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One girl said yesterday, what's this? We said, there are many, many young girls today who are doing pornography. Today. So yesterday. The, the girl didn't show it, but he said that. He said somebody took her to a side. Small, small girls, Nigerian girls, who are openly doing pornography. And they are videoing them and they are paying them. No face covered, nothing. You know why? Poverty. Poverty. They, they see their siblings suffering, parents suffering, and they can't endure, so they go into pornography. Because that, that gives them money. Say with me, not in my lifetime. Not in my lifetime. Will I watch any girl abused? Because of luck. Because of I will have so much money. I will have so much to money. create a prayer for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. So help me God. Rise on your feet and pray. Rise and pray. God will give you money. We are going to create a prayer for people. Ah. God will give you money. We are going to create a prayer for people. We are going to meet their needs everywhere. We are going to create heaven on earth for people. People will live in houses without paying a dime. They will go to school without paying a dime. Oh, the Kaba Dabaya, call us Shatan Abraham. Pray, 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 pray. We are going to create heaven on earth for people. They will live in houses they didn't build. They will have light. Have water, have gas, have food to eat. Have health care without paying a dime. Empower me with wealth to create heaven on earth for others. Are you sure God said your voice? Please pray. Empower me with words to create heaven on earth for people. No young girl will be abused because of lack in my time. Nobody will suffer because of lack in my day. Empower me with words to create heaven on earth for all. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lazarus was poor. When he went to heaven, he went to Abraham's bosom. I pray that God will empower you with all you need to create heaven and earth for others. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The rich will praise the poor, but in your day shall be stopped. Amen. We are going to stop every oppression of the poor in our day. Amen. From now, Amen. it shall be so. Amen. Thank you, Father, for giving us all we need to Amen. create heaven on earth for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We can experience the miracles every day. Amen. Thank you for grace to become not just people who experience miracles, but those who create miracles for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord. You are the miracle worker. You are the miracle producer. You are the miracle manufacturer. Mm -hmm. You are the miracle distributor. Mm -hmm. We are here as your channels. Yes, Make us living channels. Amen. That we not just produce, but distribute your miracles to all everywhere. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For us to sow in the miracles, help us to wait on you and help us to Receive your kind of love. Help us to walk in your kind of love. Help us to know what you we are to do here and help us to do it from now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Help us to live and dwell in your love. Amen. Help us to love like you. Amen. Help us to imitate you. Amen. Help us to be like you. Amen. Help us to live like you. Amen. Help us to give to others like you. Amen. Help us to create heaven on earth for all of us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Amen.
In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for the seed in our hands. It is blessed. Amen. You give seed to sow and bread to the eater. Amen. We shall never like seed to sow. Amen. And we will never like bread to eat. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be your name. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This last week of October will be your best ever. Amen. God will do things that will make you laugh. Amen. For the miracles we have seen so far, we thank you, Father. Amen. For what you are doing today, we say thank you. Amen. Lord. Above for what you are going to see throughout this month and the remainder of this year, we say thank you. Thank you. We thank you in advance because we know we are going to solve problems for you for the world. Amen. We are going to create a world for all. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be your name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord. I plead your blood over life today. Amen. By your blood, we overcome every enemy. Amen. By your blood, we overcome every adversary. Amen. By your blood, we overcome the devil and all his agents. Amen. By your blood, we overcome sickness and disease. Amen. We overcome black and white by your blood. Amen. We overcome troubles and problems by your blood. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we rise and we take a place in your agenda. Amen. We rise and we take our place in your program. Amen. We rise and we take our place in your purpose. Amen. For us, and for, the, and for mankind in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have your way. Amen. Glory be to your name. Amen. For in Jesus' most powerful name we pray. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercies, miracles, wonders, signs, and blessings are in us all the days of our lives. And we are going in God's presence forever and ever. Amen. Peace and God bless you.